How many folks here are involved in some way with Genie? Could you raise your hands? How many folks here in some way, and maybe you're the same people, are involved in US Ignite? Could you please raise your hands? These are two very, very important groups of folks. The first group of folks is creating the future internet, is creating the technology behind it, is doing the research to make that happen. And the second group of people is also very important. They're helping to take those lessons and apply them in ways that help people. So how did I get into US Ignite? How did I get into this second camp? Because I used to be in the first camp. How did I ever make this transition? And the answer was that I was talking with my wife, Patricia Gunther, and she was saying, Glenn, you do all this stuff with these networks and these computers and things and so forth. What are you going to do for your, for your next act? What, do, what are you going to do for your next thing? I said, well, I haven't really thought about it. Maybe something else involving maybe academia and maybe these networking things. And she said, why don't you do something that helps people? Good idea, right? Why don't we do something that helps people? And that was one of many sparks that helped go and create US Ignite. How can we go and take these things that are tomorrow's internet and turn them into things that are going to really help people? And so that's really been a watchword of US Ignite. How can we go and take these technologies and apply them in very interesting ways? And it helps us all in a number of ways. First of all, it helps guide the research because that research can now be put to specific uses as soon as it's ready. It means that the research that we do do can have some immediate impact in healthcare and in transportation and public safety, all of, all of the areas that you're going to see demonstrations of here today. And so we've really been working hand in glove with the Genie program. I think I've been at all the Genie meetings here for the past two or three years because it really is a hand in glove effort to go and take the research and the application and put them together. And I just wanted to tell you just a bit more about the theme of today's event, which is uh, beyond, today's app, uh, beyond today's internet, experiencing a smart future. You're going to be able to experience a smart future today through a series of demonstrations that you're going to see. Each of these demonstrations has been carefully selected by the Genie team led by Mark and by the US Ignite team, including Bill Wallace and Joe Cochan and um, Jennifer Mott and myself, to do two things. One is to showcase a Genie technology, something that you probably haven't seen before if you haven't been working with it, something that's going to be new to the general public, and also has been put into an application that helps people. So we're not going to have any Genie demonstrations and US Ignite demonstrations. We're going to have only combined demonstrations where you're going to see a Genie technology being used in the US Ignite context. And even the Genie people who don't know that they're doing this, you are. You're using your technology in a context that goes and helps people. So that's what you should be looking for is a real spark of genius in the technology that's being used in a way that's really helping people. The US Ignite program focuses on that second piece. So I think of Genie and US Ignite as two programs with a common color. We've both picked orange for our color. That's on purpose. We're working together. Genie is a, a, a a research and technology program. It's an NSF research program. It has a lot of academic focus, and it really deals with things like science cyber infrastructure, as you just heard from Mark. US Ignite is the complementary program that says, what are the applications of these technologies? How can we put together public-private partnerships that go and leverage this? How can we provide a city and corporate focus how can we make this sustainable? How can we build this into our society? How can we do these things? And so uh, Genie is very involved with the research here. Uh, it's amazing stuff. I love to talk to the researchers about this. What crosses both of us is applying this in applications for people. And some of the things that you're going to see today have been funded through Genie. Some of the things you're going to see today have been funded through US Ignite, which is a program for the National Science Foundation to um, help produce some of these applications. But in any case, regardless of who actually funded them, it's taking this spark of genius and applying it in ways that help people. 
In US Ignite, we go and take this a bit further and say, how can we deploy these applications into smart gigabit cities? How can we take advantage of these 40 cities that have now committed to putting in gigabit infrastructure to use their gigabit in interesting and useful ways to apply these technologies and this research that's been done in Genie? And interestingly enough, we've both settled on one piece of common infrastructure, the Genie Rack. The Genie Rack helps both uh, research programs and is also a platform on which we can run these applications to help people. So that's really in common. So US Ignite builds on Genie. It's the basic building block. And Genie provides, as you've heard from Mark, a sense of slicing, programmability, and distributed infrastructure. That's really the basis on which US Ignite is built. We add to that Genie base an emphasis on the gigabit infrastructure being deployed in the US. And why the gigabit? I'll talk to that in the next slide. We also work with cities and regions across the country, places that are invested in taking advantage economically, scientifically, and civically in the gigabit and genie infrastructures. And also, we work very closely with uh, corporate sponsors whom we really appreciate, people who would like to see these new applications because they're going to eventually help their business, but more importantly, help them to be good corporate citizens in being able to provide benefits to people through services that are today maybe experimental, maybe in demonstration, maybe in pilot, but are eventually going to be services that become uh, commercial services that maybe they or others will provide. So those are the components that come together to create a US Ignite set of applications for smart gigabit cities. This is the formula that we've put together. I promised to talk a little bit about the, uh, the gigabit, but before that, I want to show you that we're working with a lot of partners. Each little orange blocks there is a city in the United States or a region that we're working with. Each of the blue ones is an organization that we're working with in one of those locations. Uh, it could be a corporation, it could be a, um, a regional ne a network. But you can see that we're working with folks across the country in interesting ways to deploy the fruits of the research that Genie is doing. So smart gigabit cities have gigabit wired or wireless fabric. It's not all fiber. In many cases, it is wireless. We've got a wireless city in Blacksburg, Virginia. They have put gigabit in their downtown wirelessly. We're working with Madison, Wisconsin to go and put uh, gigabit wireless uh, downtown in Madison, Wisconsin. There's a genie rack in each metro. That genie rack provides for low latency computation. And we're also looking at the applications in each city where we can sense things, traffic, health, uh, events, fires, be able to analyze them and allow that city to act on them so the city can become a smarter gigabit city. The gigabit and the in-city genie rack provide three things. So if you want to think about the technology part of my talk, I've got only three points. Point one is that by putting in the gigabit and using the in-city genie rack, we can deal with big, big complex data big, uh, very complex 4K streams of microscope images from other places. But it's not just big. Because the gigabit is clocked 100 times faster than today's typical broadband, may I repeat that, 100 times faster, it becomes quicker. Even if you don't have more data to send, the data that you do send ends up there very quickly. And as you've heard from um, Mark, it allows us to slice it. And the slicing is important for being able to provide security. So we can go and send data on financial institutions on, along a financial slice. People who are working with healthcare along a healthcare slice. If you were at the demos and you saw the CCAT demo from the University of Utah yesterday, you saw Cobus van der Meer being able to take the internet and create a way of having secure healthcare records over a specific slice using the Genie technologies. So these are the kinds of things that allow us to have these new applications. Big, quick, and sliced. Again, we work in national priority areas. The symbols there represent education, healthcare, public safety, 
advanced manufacturing, clean energy, transportation. All of these are represented in demonstrations you may have seen last night or will see today. We work in smart city capabilities, this sensing, analyzing, and acting triangle that needs, in very, many cases, very responsive, very quick, very low latency access. That becomes very important. And we also, of course, work with these cities in organizational ways to create inclusive partnerships that include local civic leaders, uh, chambers of commerce, Code for America, <laughs> academics, foundations, uh, all kinds of folks who get together and make a real difference. I have a diagram uh, here, I think, if I can advance this, that just shows some of these folks that we try to bring together in any kind of a city to catalyze the power that that city has already within it, but may not realize that if they only bring these together, they can do some amazing things, and together with the Genie Technologies, make a real difference. So that's the real punchline here. We're trying to create some smart gigabit cities out of these Genie technologies. These smart gigabit cities are a new breed of internet application. They're doing new things. These new applications that you haven't seen before, this experiencing a smart future, has to do with applications that are nimble, applications that are engaging, applications that are collaborative, and that are more secure. And you're going to see examples of all of these today. So I just want you to be thinking about the fact that this research is having a big impact. It's providing us with applications for smart gigabit cities. Thanks very much.